welcome to Let's Connect, Disability Connection West Michigan's show for people with disabilities in the community. We're here today at the Ludington Stearns Beach because today our show is going to be about accessibility and the waterfront. I was excited to receive a call from John Shea, the city manager of Ludington, when he heard about a project in Traverse City that was helping support a walkway in their public beach. And so he asked if we could do the same thing here in Ludington. Hi, I'm John Shea. I'm the city manager for the city of Ludington. And we are looking at a very exciting project, uh, which we're really calling the Stearns Park uh, Accessible Walkway Project. Hi, I'm Nancy Miller. I am on the board of directors for Disability Connection. And this is Deb Bright. Hello. And explain what you do, Deb. I am the accessibility advocate for the Northern Counties, Mason, Oceana, and Lake of Disability Connection. Very good. <laughs> we are here today uh, on the spot that the Stearns Park Accessible Walkway will be. Uh, the plan is to build it by Memorial Day 2012. Uh, we are starting our fundraising campaign. Uh, we've gotten some donors already. Uh, about a year ago, uh, the city learned that Disability Connections uh, was providing uh, some assistance up in Traverse City for an accessible walkway, and we contacted Disability Connections to see if uh, they could assist us in putting in an accessible walkway that would allow people with disabilities, uh, and actually people of disabilities or no disabilities, uh, to gain access uh, to the water's edge by putting out a walkway out on the beach uh, so people could go over the sand and get to the water's edge. My husband, new husband Frank, has MS and he is a wheelchair user uh, and he could not access this beach today. Uh, he could go out to the pier, he could see the lighthouse, but he would not be able to make it out to the water's edge. Uh, without someone very, very strong to push him through the sand, and that person is not me. I also have some physical disabilities. I might look okay. I have rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and scleroderma, and uh, have had various surgeries and at times have been in a wheelchair myself or on crutches. And also, uh, at the beginning of the summer, was not able to access this beach because I was using crutches. My name is Jamie Spohr and I was born and raised here in Mason County in the Ludington area and I am a beach bum so I love spending time here at Ludington Stearns Beach. Uh, we've had quite a few calls from residents and tourists alike and we're obviously a pretty popular tourist community uh, for this type of project and uh, uh, the more people that we can get to come to Ludington who feel that wow this beach is, is attractive to us and is accessible to us the more people that think that way and actually come uh, does have a spillover economic benefit in our community. Uh, I think the rule of thumb right now is for every dollar that a tourist or anyone else spends in the community, that dollar gets circulated seven times over in the community. Uh, so that has a substantial economic impact for us, especially in these, time, these tough economic times. So I think that outreach effort for additional groups beyond just the city and disability connections is is about to be undertaken. And we have had an outpouring of individuals who are interested in purchasing a board. Want to tell them about purchasing? Purchasing a board. They can be engraved up to 20 letters, as I understand it, with a name or in memory of a loved one. Uh, the project actually came about uh, because a, a, a group in Traverse City uh, had also built a, an accessible walkway and the city manager John Shea here in Ludington had heard about the project and he contacted Disability Connection so we are partnering with, partnering with the city of Ludington on this project. Uh, the plan is to have an accessible walkway not just for people with disabilities but people who have children that are pushing strollers, pulling wagons, uh, carrying two coolers and six bags with them. Uh, you will see these walkways in other areas in Michigan, such as Manistee and Grand, Grand Haven has one, Holland has one. What we're going to be using is called Brock Decking, and that is the same type of walkway that Manistee and most of the beaches south of Manistee have. 
but ours will be better and ours will be different because the boards will be engraved so you'll get your 15 minutes of fame and people will get to walk all over you. I'm proud to say that our board agreed to support this project and so our goal is to raise about $30,000 to help create and buy an accessible walkway. Okay. And the goal, I believe, is to have this walkway installed uh, by Memorial Day weekend in 2012. Uh, so we're really excited about this project.